Hello everyone and welcome to the William House NFT podcast. In my podcast, we talk about NFTs, what they are doing at the moment, how they relate to the real world and some bad approaches versus good approaches. So if you want to learn about NFTs, then this is the right podcast for you. I'm just going to let you know this is my first podcast I've ever done. So if some parts are a little bit rough, just bear with me. We'll improve together over the next few weeks. So let's begin. How did I get into NFTs? I got into NFTs about two years ago when I was 18 years old. I started having a look at these NFTs and thinking, it's 2021, I've got a little bit of money, um, and a little bit of money for me is around $200. I was like, let's just invest in a few NFTs and see what happens. So there I am, knowing no idea um, what an NFT is or why they are so hyped up at the moment, and I go into OpenSea, and I see all these different kinds of art. I see apes, I see crypto punks, I, I see lots of weird art and I think okay if this thing if this stuff is just selling let's just buy a few hold on to it for a few months and and sell it later for you know maybe a profit so I went in and I saw okay Bay C which is the board ape yacht club selling for millions of dollars for one single ape how about I just go buy like a cheap ape for maybe a like hundred dollars or something from a different nft project and maybe when I buy that, maybe the price will go up in a few months. Who knows? So there I am. I go and I think to myself, yep, I like this ape. It's got a special watch on it. Let's go buy two of them. So I think I bought two of them for around $100 each, something like that. So that would be 0.05 Ethereum back in those days. So I bought those two apes, and at the start, I was like enjoying having them. I was like, "Yeah, this is cool." And I think about a couple months had passed, and and all of a sudden, the NFT market started crashing. And I thought, "Oh no, I've got these two apes that I bought for a hundred dollars each. What are they worth now?" And well, they were worth about ten dollars. So <laughs> I mean, I lost I lost two hundred dollars just from from buying two NFTs. So you know, in 2021, I was really like freaking out. I was like, why have all these NFTs gone down in value so much? Like, I was really curious why. So I started doing a bit of research and I realized that, you know, NFTs were just really hyped up in 2021. Everyone was just trying to get one and buy and sell for profit. And it made it a marketplace where a lot of people were just coming in, buying and then trying to flip it straight away. And when you have those types of buyers in that market, it make, makes the NFT market crash because the sole purpose of an NFT is to create a fantastic community that all share the same interest or the same life goals or all have the same hobby and want to meet up and go to events and go to parties, talk to each other and things like that. So... Obviously, looking at it now, we could see, okay, 2021, people just didn't understand exactly what the point of NFTs are. And now in 2023, at the time of recording this video, it's still evident that some people, most people, when they try to buy an NFT, still don't really understand what they're all about. So if you've joined me here today on my NFT podcast, I am going to step through uh, the NFT, the two NFT creation um, approaches. So the two NFT approaches. One of them is amazing, and one of them means your NFT project won't sell at all. So we're going to start basically the strategy that was implemented in 2021. That is called the NFT art approach. I've written about this in my ebook. And the NFT art approach is where a founder or a creator creates thousands of different types of art and lists them all up for a person to buy. So let's just say that I've created 1,000 different art pieces and I've listed them all up as NFTs. I, I want to just sell the art and the... The people that are going to buy my NFT are only going to buy it because they like the look of it. 
they like the art. The problem is, if you try to do that now in 2023, your NFT project is not going to sell. And if it does sell and you're really lucky, it's going to sell for only $20 or $30, maybe all up. So you've put all that work in, you've made art, you've created it, you've put so much effort into these NFTs, yet you can hardly sell them. You may be, you go into Facebook groups, you go into LinkedIn groups, you join NFT discords, try and sell your art to people in those groups, but guess what? They're not going to buy because it's only art you're offering. Now, if you are an NFT founder or NFT artist that's previously failed and you're listening to this podcast, do not be ashamed if you've taken this approach. This approach is what everyone, the approach that everyone was taking in 2021 and still is today in 2023. So you don't need to feel ashamed if you've taken the art approach. You just need to understand that now we're in a different market. Now we're in an NFT market that values communities, values trustful founders and it it needs to see some evidence that you're putting in the hard work to keep this project going and going and going for years to come so basically you cannot sell your nft just as art anymore you need to sell it with a lot more now if you're thinking all right i've tried the art approach it didn't work what do i do i have created a six step process through researching over 100 NFT projects that were all successful, as well as helping 39 NFT projects grow using my NFT calendar and my one-on-one strategy sessions. So I'm going to now explain to you what my six step process is. And this is gonna give you an idea of what you need to put into your NFT project. So the first step really is planning. This is the biggest step. You need to have a full plan of how you're gonna create your NFT project. You need to plan who your audience is, where you wanna sell your NFTs, what utility do you wanna have, what roadmap do you wanna have, what Instagram or Facebooks uh, groups are you going to advertise to how are you going to advertise and if you do manage to build a massive community where are you going to sell all your nfts are you going to have a minting process or are you going to just sell it all on OpenSea? so there's a lot to think about and it's very overwhelming but as i said i have an nft ebook that i've got um i'll link it to the podcast it's also on my instagram facebook TikTok, YouTube, and this ebook runs through just a very brief outline of this, and it will help you a little bit more. Also, I've got a planning sheet, so I'll also attach the planning sheet um, in on on my website. So if you want the planning sheet, you can definitely go and grab that. But getting back to my six step process, the first one is planning. Now, number two is something maybe you've already done, and that is the art. I will tell you why art is important, but it's not super, super important to focus on for eight, ten months. Art is important because when when I see your NFT project and I want to know what it's about, the art should give me some idea. Now, you don't need amazing art. Art will not sell your project, like I explained earlier. But what it will do is give your audience an understanding of, okay, this is what these types of entities look like, and this is maybe what it's going to be about. So, for example, if you loved soccer, you love Cristiano Ronaldo, maybe your art would be Cristiano Ronaldo jerseys. So that would give the audience the idea that, yes, oh, Cristiano Ronaldo, I love his shirts, maybe I want to collect one. But, like I said, you won't just sell with the art. So let's say, for example, you've planned your NFT project, you've done your art, what's next? What's next is called a roadmap. A roadmap is basically you going, creating a website and listing out the steps that you're gonna take and hit by a certain date. What this is gonna do is show your audience that you are hitting goals. Now, if you hit 
four or five goals in a row over, say, two months, then you're going to be able to give yourself some credibility and your audience is going to say, hang on a minute, this person's not just any NFT founder. They are actually executing what they're going to say. So if you can design a roadmap that you can consistently hit, then you're going to have amazing results. Number four is utility. Utility is the most important in my opinion. Utility is what can sell your NFT project for maybe $15,000 an NFT or maybe get the floor price up to $30,000. So this is what makes your NFT project worth a lot of money. If you are a really powerful person and you own a massive company and you're looking to create NFTs, you got to think, what does your company have? What service can I provide or product can I provide? So when someone buys my NFT, they get it for free. So let's just look for example. Let's say you own, uh, maybe you own a boat. Maybe you charter that boat for $25,000 a weekend or something. If you were to create an NFT for that boat, you would maybe be able to sell that NFT for $20,000 and maybe you'd sell 80 of those NFTs. And if I did that, if I calculated 20,000 times 80, that would give you $1.6 million. And maybe when you charter that boat out, you only get $400,000 a year. But if you sell your memberships to charter your boat as NFTs, then you're gonna get $1.6 million. So it's gonna give, it gives people like a membership to use your boat anytime. So if you're, if you have something massive like that, then NFTs could definitely be something that could appeal to you. If you're a bit smaller and you don't have a massive service or product that you can suddenly create NFTs, make them worth thousands of dollars, what you need to focus on is maybe creating a very powerful Discord community that people really want to be a part of so they can help, maybe you help them with their goals a little bit. Maybe you can learn a skill that people will really want your help with. And then maybe you can sell your NFT project for $180 or $200 and that can act as a membership and maybe they can ask you questions anytime. So utility is really about saying, okay, I bought this NFT, what are my benefits? Utility are the benefits. Now that is very in-depth, or oh, sorry, that's, I don't know, maybe it's in-depth, maybe it's not, you, you can decide for yourself. But utility is something that you need to put a lot of time into. Something you need to put a lot of time into as well is step number five, which is social media. Social media for NFTs is a tough challenge. There's a lot of people that don't like NFTs at the moment and don't know what they are. So that's gonna be one of your problems. But another problem is deciding what social medias to advertise on because not all social medias have a big NFT audience. So for example, Twitter. Twitter has a massive NFT audience but maybe something like Facebook doesn't. So you need to be very careful with what you choose. And you need to be consistent and provide a lot of value. So for example, if you really want to grow an NFT project on social media, setting up a Twitter account and setting up an Instagram account is perfect. But if you just want to get lots of people to maybe just see your NFT, just you know, be like, oh, I saw this thing maybe on TikTok, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram Reels, they're really good just for getting your reach. So what you want to do is have your Instagram and your Twitter account as your maybe your two main accounts and then still have an account on Twitter, sorry, still have an account on TikTok and YouTube and say, if you like the look of this, go to my Instagram and follow me. So social media is complex, but if you can get it right, it's going to be successful for your project. Uh, one more thing I'll say about social media is that Discord is very powerful. If you can learn Discord, learn how to uh, create a community or join busy Discords, talk about NFTs, then that also be really good. Sixth step is promotion. Promotion is not a must, but if you've been trying to set up an NFT project for six months and you're one month out from launching and you just want an extra 500 or 600 people to join your social media, 
then launching on an NFT, uh, sorry, promoting yourself on an NFT calendar can be really beneficial because they get thousands of people each day onto the NFT calendars and they'll, they'll show you your project on there and people can go, okay, I really like this Cristiano Ronaldo shirt, going back to the example previously. Um, I love Cristiano Ronaldo. I see the benefit is I get to meet him in person. Um, I'm going to go buy that NFT, join the community, and then you'll start to get more people that want to join. So the six-step process is a plan, art, roadmap, utility, social media, and promotion. This is the six-step process that will bring success to your NFT project. And I highly advise that you look at this pro process over the art approach. So what can you do to move forward? Number one, follow this podcast. And number two, I'll insert links on for all my Instagrams, Facebooks. And if you are serious about creating your own successful NFT project, you're going to want to download my ebook because it will run you through the steps that I've explained. Um, it will just tell you a bit more about my story and it will help you overall. I also have very exciting uh, course that I'm setting up that will be available in a few months, so just keep that aware. But uh, if you want to get in touch, no worries. Instagram, Twitter, I'm on everything, so perfect. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I know NFTs are tough to understand, but with a lot of research and practice, you'll be able to be successful.